or does depending on the outcome you get and so he's just all nice, talking nice. bullshit i hate this guy fragger what's up my dude how you doing okay i forgot the field trip slip tonight but i did bring the acid trip slip this time oh man you got the wrong slip again dude because we're already in field strip land deep in it and things are already heavy like in the first 30 minutes this was heavy and things just got worse it's bad it is bad but how no, you doing man god. <laughs> nice no friend. god please no 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 wait a minute no! there goes cartoon contest I was able to get a medical extension for your entry on the Cascade Head Cartoon Contest. I think your superhero design is the perfect spokesperson for marine preservation. Oh, that's cute. How you doing? All right. Hey. Steph and Drew aren't leaving Mikey's side. He He's just highlighted for a second. Them. Oh, it's speak to both of them. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. <laughs> they hide their game in a food plate. He might not make it. Wait a second. Oh, let's play some more. Yeah. Resurrect me from the dead. Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? Hell fucking yeah, man. It's back up. Let's go. Totally. It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. Oh, dude. So, yeah. Phase two. Let's go. I Time to throw down. To be such a game master also, about, Fragger, your girlfriend I'm smells like a volcano Cole's fart. Character died last time. Aw. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit. So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Gotta say oh, Alamon, I'm so right? excited again. This game. Oh, I'm so glad that. Uh, guys, we can play some games. Uh. We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say so funny. Oh, yeah. I totally did that. You totally did. This game is awesome. <laughs> This game is awesome. <laughs> this is so great. Calamastia, elf barbarian. Let's do this. Squirrels. Sup? 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 I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. There's no I in team. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you used your axe to cut out the key out of that dragonkin's stomach? Yeah, that was really a team effort. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. <laughs> Suddenly, Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. She's an evil DM. She's trying to kill her characters. Spinning slash. I do a spinning slash. I'm gonna hurt Elemon again. Sixteen. Good enough. <clears throat> you spin around. Using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. That's they right. Drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The, the sound goblins grows in the mines of Modia. As they grow closer. And this is why I was running. 
You weren't running. You were flying. You have no feet. We can take them. Running sounds good. Hmm. Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. See the funny part about One this? Path leads into the is I'm playing like a player that's played DM D and D before. Takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Cause uh when I was getting one of my buddies first into it, him and I were in a campaign together. And he wanted to fight everything. He had no fear. And like we were level three and we ran across like uh what was it? It was a dragon. Not not like an elder dragon, but its challenge rating was like ten, fifteen, something like that, and we're level threes. And he tried to fight the bastard. And everything we ran across, he's like, I'ma fight it. And it's like, dude, we can't fight that thing. And he had no fear. And there was I was we were fighting a flesh golem once. I think that was called. And they have spikes all on their, you know, all the whole armor. And they just like they pick up bodies, the people and creatures and just stick them on the spikes on their body. And uh the very first attack I got grappled and now I'm I'm st I'm on his shoulder and just and I'm a cleric and I'm just like dying, and it turns out I didn't have high enough strength to actually literally pull myself out of the spike, so I was like, "There's nothing I can do." And so <laughs> every turn, all I did was I would just what is it lay on hands or I'm I'm, I'm getting confused with the WoW one, but it's essentially the same thing, but in cleric D and D land, and I was just like, oh, "I'm dying." Oh, I feel better. Oh, I still am impaled and dying. Oh, I slightly feel better. Oh, you know, and I was doing that the whole round. And my buddy, he was like, he was a, a golem in him. We made it so he had the stats of uh, a dragonkin. Uh, but he was a golem instead. And he could channel his uh, breath weapon through his, his weapon. And he was lightning. And, you know, this golem's made of metal. And for some reason, this guy, this is a smart kid too, like... Smart dude, huge into science, very smart guy. And uh, he's like, well, I'm going to channel my breath weapon. I was like, don't you dare. Made of metal. He's like, nah, that's not going to happen. And then the DM just kind of just looking, not saying anything. And uh, so he's like, well, I'm going to do it. I'm like, no, dude, what are you doing? And then he says, I'm going to do it. And he just goes for it, right? And then uh, the DM kind of just looks it up. And he was just going to make it do normal damage. But it said in the in the rules for the monster, lightning da damage does double damage to impaled characters. And so he couldn't let it slip. And I just kind of looked at him like. Dude, physics. And he just and he just he's got a goofy laugh when he does something stupid like that. And he just started goofy laughing. Oh, man. Good times. Inception, the game. <laughs> It is lay on hands in D&D &D as well. All right. Crap, what was the question? To the caves, to the forest. Oh, this is the, the fork in the road. To the forest. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent. And very cold. He looks at me you like shit, dude. The stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol. I could use that to regrow my feet. Regrow Help my feet. Steal it. Hell yeah, all right. That's actually a terrible oh, idea, but let's yeah. go for it. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. One. Uh, eight. All As right, you approach eight. the idol, you dash your foot against one of the stones and fall face first into the dirt. A bony hand shoots up from the ground right before your eyes. You feel the ground move and jump up just in time for the undead soldier buried there to sit up from his shallow grave. Dirt hey and pebbles cascade down his fleshless torso. Then the ground beneath shakes. In terms of storytelling. 
hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. Time to leave. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth. To the cave, to the forest, make all these hosts crawl. <laughs> nice record. Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. You're snoring. near the edge of the forest when you run across. Dragon kid. Oh shit! Is that me? Hell yeah, dude! Play? Join us. Yeah, little brother. Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard, joins your party. Oh, we got a bard! Ding 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 ding. ding. Gnome bard. Gnome bard. That's what she said. Know any firewalk? No, I don't know any of your shitty music. Damn. Big talk, little body. Big talk. That's some big talk from someone who's only three feet tall. So size isn't everything. This is awesome. <laughs> Mikey's just loving it. Fine, but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of undead has caught up to you. The first cohort launches iron spears directly at Elamon. What do you do? Shield him with the bard. <laughs> Shield him with my body. I, I heroically jump in front of Elamon, using my axe to block each attack. You block almost every attack, but one makes it through. Take six damage. Ouch, hey. that's a lot of life. Thanks. Do you have to be the hero? That's just selfish. The army is still advancing. What do you do next? Play a song to make him dance. Trip the bard and run. <laughs> run. We can't fight a whole army of them. Not just with a gnome bard as backup. We should run. Doing a lot of running today. Shut up. As you near the edge of the forest, whoa! An enormous that was a fun bug. Soldier steps into your path. He roars, sending thousands of years of bad breath at you like. <laughs> Shit! Throw the bard. <laughs> it really wants me to throw the bard. Throw my axe. I throw my axe at it. Your attack doesn't do nearly enough damage to kill it. But it buys you enough time to escape into the meadows. Good effort. But I don't have my axe. <laughs> Pathetic. You burst forth into the majestic meadow. Her Look at he's bugged rising. out. He shouldn't be there. <laughs> he sees lush green fields full of birds. He's still on his phone. Flowers and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. Dude, she's a trying to kill us. The waiting army soars through the sky, hitting and killing Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard. What? You I'm didn't even get a chance. Play. Yeah. I really high. As the dragon can ahead. Oh, that's a bummer. Attack, I was supposed to throw them bard. The army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> Fight the dragon kid. Surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. Die valiantly together. Sacrifice me. Uh, I like die valiantly together. This sounds cool. Damn. Then let's go down in a blaze of glory. Together. 
I cast... Shield of Stars. Oh, boy. I see, I disagree with that. The BS does DM try to kill you all the time? Because they can. The At any point. It's not hard for them to kill you. It's like, all right, you're level twos. Elder Dragon. Easily kill you. I think a good DM makes things difficult. Not necessarily always in combat, but in story and in context. Makes people make difficult decisions. Like this game. I think that makes a good DM. Dragonkin and one that can roll with the punches descend upon the party in terms of like oh shit the party did something that I, I didn't yeah. anticipate just fire and sword, go with it like you didn't even, like it didn't even cause a bump in the road to take their place sounds like state last year their numbers overwhelm you hacking you to death eventually you die your body's torn to pieces Damn. Mikey, I'm... I'm really sorry. I've been playing Elamon for... three years. Oh, shit! They do permadeath! He's like... a friend. But you can create a new character, right? Yeah. I guess. Then let's do this shit. How do we start? Wait, he slaughters his teammates in cold blood. <laughs> play with me? Sure. Why not? We're not gonna let those shitheads think that they're better than than the North Brothers. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. That was fun. We played another D and D session, guys. Also, that thing. That's cute, I guess. Blurrers. Huh. <laughs> Those must be from Steph's parents. Gingrich. How do I know that name? Oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Robot sucks, man. We need you. Can we bring it tomorrow? <laughs> All right. Let's go check hey. on Rachel. Wait up a sec. What up? Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. I was helping myself. It's okay. Uh... Don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mike, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Bye, friends. Say bye, nerds, again. Bummer. I like Mikey and Steph. Why weren't they in the original? I love them. Whoa, I didn't even open that. This just happened. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just starting to wake up. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Oh. Rachel, I'm coming. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Whew. Let's do this. Who is a happy hippo? I see who's sleeping over there. Oh, woke you up. Dad. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. 
Thanks, Dad. Oh, Thanks, Mr. Amber. Back. 